Today was a hot one. We got up to 90 degrees for the first time of the year, and we have a shot to do it again tomorrow. The heat comes along with more humidity, and we're going to add in the potential of some thunderstorms. And you can see we sort of have this setup going on right now. Uh, cl some high clouds in western Pennsylvania, but you'll notice as you look out towards Heinz Field, right in the center of your screen, the lights there kind of look hazy. That's just a sign that there's a lot of moisture in the air. So we have 82 degrees, but a dew point at 67. So here we are after 11 o'clock at night with a heat index or a feels like temperature of 84. So a muggy night for sure. Here in Pittsburgh, we're at 82. Washington still recording 80 degrees. 82 in Morgantown, Greensburg, 81. Up into Butler, 80 degrees. So we have these temperatures still in the 80s and then you factor in the humidity and many spots feel like the mid 80s so it feels like temperature is 84 in pittsburgh it feels like 83 in washington morgantown 84 82 in butler 83 is what it feels like right now in latrobe tonight our temperatures are going down generally to the low to mid 70s so it's going to be a warm night and muggy throughout and that sets the stage for some very warm temperatures tomorrow 90 degrees in many cases and with it high humidity and as I mentioned some thunderstorms and the reason we're going to get these thunderstorms we're going to go from temperatures in the 90s to temperatures in the upper 70s and when you have those two types of air masses clashing with each other oftentimes in between you get the thunderstorms and that's what we're watching for here. So we have those remnants of crystal ball continuing to lift further to the north. That's going to draw in more moisture and it's going to meet up with a cold front. And when that gets here, that's going to start stirring up a little bit of trouble. So the hot air is in place. You, if you've stepped outside, you felt it. It's going to be here tomorrow through the whole day. That cold front left side of your screen continues to push into that warmer air mass. Now, lunchtime, this is still well back to the west. So we're going to be hot and humid. And with the heat and humidity together, we could see a couple pop-up showers or thunderstorms trying to come together, but the bigger line actually develops with this cold front, and this is expected to arrive as we head through the evening hours, and actually that's helpful because we'll start cooling off a little bit before that gets here, but where that front is going to be in the heat of the day, that's where there's going to be some bigger issues. So you look to Cleveland, to the Detroit area, that's where there's going to be numerous strong to severe thunderstorms. For us, we're more in the scattered area of strong to severe thunderstorms, and damaging winds are the biggest threat that comes tomorrow, but uh, we have a lot to watch for when these storms get closer. And temperatures will become a little more comfortable as we get into Thursday and Friday on the other side of that front. About 80 degrees both days, maybe an early shower Thursday, but I think most of the day is going to be dry. Dry for the weekend, low to mid 70s there, but cool. And next week, those temperatures come back up, but we look for a few showers. And with those storms on the way and more heat, the KDK Weather app is a great tool to have on your mobile device. It gives you the alerts. It gives you hour-by-hour -hour forecasts and an interactive radar. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.